The sugar industry subsumes the production, processing and marketing of sugars mostly saccharose and fructose. Globally, most sugar is extracted from sugar cane, approximately 80% predominantly in the tropics, and sugar beet, approximately 20%, mostly in temperate climate like in the US or Europe. Sugar is an essential basis for soft drinks, sweetened beverages, convenience foods, fast food, candy, sweets, confectionery, baking products and the respective industries. Sugar subsidies have driven market costs for sugar well below the cost of production. As of 2018, three quarters of world sugar production is never traded on the open market. The global market for sugar and sweeteners is $77.5 billion in 2012, with sugar comprising an almost 85% share, according to estimates in a 2013 report from BCC Research. The market is thought to increase at a compound annual growth rate of 4.6%. Around 160 million tons of sugar is produced every year. The largest producers are Brazil 22%, India 15%, and the European Union 10%. There are more than 123 sugar producing countries, but only 30% of the produce is traded on the international market. In 2011 global sugar export trade was worth $47 billion, with $33.5 billion of sugar exports from developing countries, and $12.2 billion from developed countries. Market Sugar subsidies have driven market costs for sugar well below the cost of production. As of 2018, three quarters of world sugar production is never traded on the open market. Brazil controls half the global market, paying the most $2.5 billion per year in subsidies to its sugar industry. The U.S. sugar system is complex, using price supports, domestic marketing allotments, and tariff rate quotas. It directly supports sugar processors rather than farmers growing sugar crops. The U.S. government also uses tariffs to keep the U.S. domestic price of sugar 64 to 92 percent higher than the world market price, costing American consumers $3.7 billion per year. A 2018 policy proposal to eliminate sugar tariffs, called, Zero for Zero, is currently March 2018 before the U.S. Congress. Previous reform attempts have failed. The European Union (EU) is a leading sugar exporter. The common agricultural policy of the EU used to set maximum quotas for production and exports and a subsidized sugar sales with an EU guaranteed minimum price. Large import tariffs were also used to protect the market. In 2004, the EU was spending 3 euros and 30 cents in subsidies to export 1 euro worth of sugar, and some sugar processors like British Sugar had a 25% profit margin. A 2004 Oxfam report called EU sugar subsidies dumping and said they harm the world's poor. A WTO ruling against the EU quota and subsidy system in 2005–2006 forced the EU to cut its minimum price and quotas, and stop doing intervention buying. The EU abolished some quotas in 2015, but minimum prices remain. Tariffs also persist for most countries. In 2009, the EU granted least developed countries LDCs zero tariff access to the EU market as part of the Everything But Arms initiative. As of 2018, India, Thailand, and Mexico also subsidize sugar. Glucose syrups produced from wheat and corn maize compete with the traditional dry sugar market. Topic: <laughs> Global players. The top 10 sugar producing companies based on production in 2010 The global sugar industry has a low market share concentration. The top four sugar producers account for less than 20.0% of the market. Products Raw sugar Liquid sugar Refined sugar Molasses Sugar alcohol Brown sugar Powdered sugar Meringue Cupcake Marshmallow Cake Honey Organizations International Sugar Organization Sugar Association 
European Association of Sugar Manufacturers (EU), Sugar Nutrition UK.